Greetings, there, people. It's your cult for Snotty here, Toon Critics. Names. Holy crap, I got an upgrade! <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change around here, I swear to everybody above. I touched the diamonds! Toonie, 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 Toonie. Don't oh, touch it's, that. It's, it's like oh. I said before, everyone already knows who we are. Let's just cut to the chase. Keyframe, you sound like a man. What happened? <laughs> oh. Anyways, welcome back to Roundtable's Magic. If you if you if you've been a fan this long, you should know who we are. But for those who don't, that's kind of why I do this anyway. We have with us Golden Fox. I am a crystal gem. <laughs> I'm with the Roundtable. <laughs> you've been waiting for that, haven't you? Uh, maybe. Freaking crystal gem. It's Orange horses, yes. am I right? Filling in for Keyframe is Dwellstonator. Hello! Yeah, British Ninja? Oh, are we just gonna low-key skip over the fact that Twilight stole some dude's hair? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We have Voice of Reason. Rarity looks like a groupie from the Sex Pistols. <laughs> <laughs> that's wait, that's wait, pretty are you, new. Are you sure she's a groupie, or is she a Sex Pistol herself? Bang, 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 bang! Oh, snap! <laughs> that, that's that's pretty good. Oh, uh, we have lightning bliss. Synchronize. Do the dance. Dun, 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 Jet fusion. Jeez. And our special guest for today's episode, Game Link Reviews. I'm just really happy to be here. Aww. Hey, how are you doing, dude? Uh, I, I mean, this is like this is like seriously a huge honor. Thank you guys for having me. It's great being here. Uh, Game Link's got some pretty good stuff. If you guys are watching this, I put a link to his channel in the description. Check out his stuff. Aww. It's it's pretty pretty decent. I like it. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. Like Bliss review. Don't watch that. <laughs> a, no Bliss. <laughs> Dude, ow, ow, we're ow, a bunch of falling asleep. Ow, ow, sitting in Skype talking uh, about Mr. horses. You give us too much honor and privilege, sir. Mr. Link. D yes. Don't sell yourself short like that. You're talking to a person who physically collabed with you at BronyCon. I, th I, I think you got goods. You got goods. Uh, anyways, I'm just today's kidding. episode that we were talking about, it's a rather long title. It isn't the main thing about you. It is a rarity episode. And, well... <coughs> somebody over there is, is, is clearly happy about it. So... Oh. Uh, who should we... You know what, yeah, let's start off with Will as the positive first, Mr. Oh, Eric. I was gonna say it. What? Aww. Well, I, would, I wanted to go first. You know what? Here's what you two are gonna do. Fox, I want you to go into the room with, with Will, and I want you to play rock, paper, scissors with him. Go ahead, Fox. Go, or ahead. Just, go ahead. Or go just ahead. Punch, punch him in the face. That works too. <laughs> Whichever one go falls ahead, to the ground, we're gonna have a I'll jolly let you, old... I'll let you start. We're gonna Aww. have a good old slobber knocker. Oh, I'm sorry for our rock paper scissors. Oh, I'm sorry for our rock paper scissors war. I wanted I a fight. fight. <laughs> Let's have a fight. I wanted a fight. I choose flamethrower. All right. All right. Okay, you ready? Rock, rock paper, paper scissors. scissors. Fist. All right. So, uh, who All won right, the rock go. paper scissors? We didn't. I, I, we didn't I, go. I am. I'm willingly passing it on to him. Okay, I'm Fox is going first. You're willingly. I'll just make it. i just. I'll just. I'll just make it short. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so, my positive. I fucking love Rarity's punk hair design in the second half of the episode. Uh, well, I, uh, good for you, pal. I think that was everybody's point. <laughs> Everybody, everybody's positive was that. <laughs> no, no, I have a different one. Mine wasn't. Mine wasn't. Okay, okay. In fact, I was tempted to put it as my negative. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, was, was that, was uh, that it, Fox, or? So, um, I'll go ahead and pass it uh, straight to Thespio. Okay, that, that, that was a short positive. Okay, all right. <clears throat> As many of you probably should know, Rarity has always been my absolute favorite character on this entire show. She's had her ups, she's had her downs. <clears throat> I should have never free. Um, but, uh, this is one where I truly think she, like, you can have your suited for success, you can have your uh, sweet and elite, this, 
this is my top Rarity episode. It's right up there with stuff like Canterlot Boutique, Rarity Investigates, and so on and so forth. This is one where it shows off her absolute best qualities, not just as a business pony, but she goes and learns a lesson that she has yet to learn up until this point, and I love it. She... Like, she realizes that the only person who's been down on her is herself, and she immediately picks up from that low point and makes the best of it, despite, you know, all the stuff that's happened to her, and it just, it fills me with such glee to see her coming up from the bottom and making the best out of any bad situation, that I just, I adored her character in this, it just... Uh, I'm rambling at this point, so yeah, yeah. I I loved Rarity in this episode, but it still further proves my point that she is my absolute favorite. She has so far only very few disappointments. She's had hit after hit after hit, and this is one we can add to the list. But anyway, with that said, I'll pass. Okay, I'll pass it on to Bliss then. Yay! One day I'm going to have to make an animation of that. Just Bliss going. <laughs> <laughs> You, like, throw it on the round table when Bliss does it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, I really loved the moral. This 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 kind of hit home for me, including recently, because um, my mother uh, has recently gone through... Um, um, well, in, in a nutshell, and though she's not in any danger, she's okay. Uh, she had a skin cancer. And um, they had to do some skin removal on her nose. And uh, unfortunately, when that happens... Well, you got the bandages and the stitches, and it's just blatantly obvious that you went through an ordeal. And my mom has been going through that rough time because obviously people are going to be staring at her face because of all the bandages and the obvious trauma to her skin. And it's made my mom feel like a little down, obviously. And she's like, everybody's just focusing on what happened to my face and not focusing on me as a person. And it's very frustrating. Now, combining that with this episode, <clears throat> that Rarity felt like she only got respect and sway and her, more or less her way or any acknowledgement because of how she looked. And then realizing that, no, that's not the reason that people respected her or acknowledged her. It's because of who she is and that she had to learn that. I love that moral, that it's not what you look on the outside, it's how you look on the inside. And if you can embrace that in yourself, then you can go places. Oh, <clears throat> so, I mean, I even had that moment where I thought, what were to happen if all my hair were to fall out right now? Would all of you think less of me? Would, would everybody not. just no. Would everybody, like, stare at the fact that I'm bald and no longer see... Oh, cute rainbow lightning bliss anymore. No, I know deep down nobody would ever think that. Of course. This alicorn's really, really Can we can we can we get a can we get a thing of that with like Thespio holding up like Bliss who's bald? It's just like this alicorn's really, really bald. Please, somebody, oh my God. anybody, really you have me do that. Yes. How much you, dude? Oh, uh, it could it could be me. It could be Will. I don't know. It could be both of us. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't know why I could see oh, Will doing that more than two. Cheers, everybody on. A lightning bliss like switches her shampoo with hair removal and it happens and then Tara's laughing his butt on the background and, and, and that's that shriek doing. that shriek she did was like perfect comedic timing because I've never heard Rarity screech like that and then it cuts away like a few seconds later I'm just like perfect that's how you yeah. do it cut to a commercial <laughs> but yeah it's not about how you feel on the outside it's how you feel on the inside and if you Believe in that, then you'll go far. And I just, I think they executed that moral very, very well. So. Yeah, and actually, if, if I may add on to that, it's interesting that Bliss brought up her mother with, uh, you know, her skin cancer and all that, which, which by the way, I'm glad she's doing better now. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. doing, it, it's not yeah. really severe, it's just the location, you know? Mm -hmm. But in a way, my mother also kind of went through that when she was uh, going through uh, chemo, and um, 
Yeah, when, when her <laughs> hair was falling out, she uh, she also kind of felt less like a person, and it, it took a lot of coaxing from myself, my sister, and my uncle to try to help her get back on her feet and, and you know, try to beat this, this thing that's, you know, attacking her body. So, yeah, it's I, I'm glad you brought up that story, Bliss, it, it because, yeah, because the moral also really connected with me, too. So that was going to be my next positive, but I, I remembered one thing per person. So, yeah. Yeah, it's all good. All right, who wants next? Who wants dibs? I'll go next. Okay. Voice you um, up. Hey, boys. All right, now, th- I, I mentioned this, like, back, I think, yesterday. Um, it's, not, it's not particularly a big positive, like, pertaining to, like, rarities conflict, but a small bit of... Uh, a small, a small bit of uh, development uh, for Starlight. Uh, I'm at. Uh, well, you probably can agree with me. I'm at a test on this one. Um, uh-huh. uh, it's the moment where Rarity uh, is talking to both Twilight and Starlight about. It. It's like, oh, there, you don't think there would be like a uh, a time travel spell to go to go back in time and fix this? Like, oh, actually, and... if actually, if I may uh, object to that, it's actually Zakora that suggests that, not Rarity. Oh, it's a, it's a... Yeah, it was it was the chorus. Yeah, it was the chorus. Oh, I just yeah. rewatched the episode. Yeah. Yeah, was. She she hypothetically said that <laughs> the only way you could do the to fix this would be to go back in time. Not that she was hitting at that's what you should do. She said that would be the only way to fix the problem. But and that's yeah. when Rarity yeah. looked to Starlight and Twilight. <laughs> well, like, yeah, when she looked at that, I was like, No, no, I've learned my lesson with that. That's a really bad idea. The woman's like, Oh, okay. She's like, Yay, she's learning her lessons. Good for her. Like Yeah, like the it, minutes are like, the minutes the chorus said time to travel, I had to pause and I'm like, no! I mean, it, it, Ad Insult's injury, Josh Haber wrote this, and like, no! He wrote a terrible time travel episode before, please don't make it into that! But, <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, I, please. I couldn't agree more, I love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, as soon as I'm that, I'm like, no, 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 that's not gonna solve your problem. Yeah, and, and it's, 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 it's more, uh, I see, that it, it's the small moments. Um, I see what you did there. Yeah, uh, and it, it's not even just that, but also, uh, I know I was missing on the uh, the fame of misfortune thing. Um, but the more I see, like, these small, like, small moments of, like, character development, and, like, uh, Starlet learning from her past mistakes or doing something different to help a situation, it's like my opinion her, of her is slowly but surely getting up there. It's like, okay, she's not as bad. Like, I'm sorry to like her. Like, this is good. I'm, I'm okay with this as, as voice. <laughs> voice. You also have to take into you also have to take into account that not only was Starlight like that's not a good idea. Twilight was directly next to her and immediately does the same thing too because yeah. she's learned her lesson too. Yeah, I was like, what, what the what was it? The uh, oh, and it's about time. Although I, w- I although I would uh, although I would agree with the uh, this was a, like a big big concern about the ending of it's about time where she had to go back in the past. Uh, back in the past to, like, complete the circle uh, in order for that to happen. If she didn't go back in the past, then she would have created a time paradox, but that's beside the point. Oh, that's uh, crazy. Uh, but anyway, anyway, I shall pass it off to... Uh, actually, our guest, Game Link. Oh, so I'm up. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> One positive. One positive. All right. Um, <coughs> I guess if I were to pick a positive about this episode, it would be... I... I will, I'll come clean, I don't like Rarity, I never liked Rarity in the show at all, especially in the earlier seasons, Yeah, she was just never, she was never a good character in my opinion, I felt like she was just kind of the stereotypical like, ooh, dresses kind of character, but I will say this, over time I felt like, I felt like Rarity developed into more of like her own character with her own personality uh, and whatnot, and I think it's, like, really well displayed in this episode, um, because, like, oh, God, I can't remember who said it. Was it Will or was it Bliss? Uh, one of you said uh, that you see Rarity kind of, like, overcome these uh, th- this major obstacle that's in yeah, her I way. Said, yeah, I said that. <laughs> yeah, and I agree with that, but, like, on a much greater scale, because you said you like Rarity. I don't like Rarity, and... To me, that just kind of makes me, I don't know why, but it doesn't make me sympathize with the character more, but seeing her struggle and seeing that she's actually, like, she's got character, she's got feelings, she's human, or pony in this case, She she's not just this one-dimensional character, it, it does make me, you know, like her more as a character. Now, we've had episodes like this in the past, uh, where we've seen Rarity go through a big struggle, like Carol Boutique, for example, but... 
This episode, for some reason, it really did stick with me on a greater level in that sense. And, uh, yeah, that's the point of view of this episode from a person who doesn't like rarity. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that seems fair. Fair enough. All right, who do you pass it to, and, me uh, or Ninja? Um, uh, do I pass it to the British guy or the red guy? Uh, I'm going with Edgy the Hedgy. Edgy the Hedgy. <laughs> <laughs> edgy the Hedgy. Hashtag Edgy the Hedgy. Hashtag Edgy the Hedgy. I don't know whether to laugh or take offense to that. I think I'm just going to I'm just going take to take the I will chuckle at that and then remind and then. Hey, uh, hey think of it you. this way. Think of it this way. It's a lot of people making jokes about me dressing my character up in God knows how many outfits. Yeah, well, that's that's by choice. I'm stuck as edgy, all right? <laughs> that's my default hey, setting. Edgy stuck, the edgy trademark game link. Yeah, 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 whatever. All right, so all right, my fuck. positive, uh, my positive. Psych, I'm going to be doing the positive this time. Uh, and Tony yes, over here yes. is going to do the negative. All right, so... Ooh. There's a good positive to this episode. Yeah, me doing a positive for once. Okay. So, uh, Fox, Foxy Boy over there already talked about how the punk look is something good. But I think there's a little something deeper to this. Were we not clued in when Rarity took out the guitar from Pinky as a little bit of stress playing, and she rocked it. She did a full-on <laughs> guitar solo with just a few strings. I had a string. feeling that was going to be brought that up. That was a clue. Yeah. I am convinced, and this is my headcanon right now, that Rarity has a punk past that nobody else knows about. And I want to see a future episode talk about this. I am convinced, mm. because you can't tell me otherwise that, one, she has this sort of thing laying around her boutique. Two, she was able to rock a guitar with just a few strings like that and played it off like nothing it's like it's like that one character from freaking um what is it rock of ages or something uh captain mm. zeta jones character the one who's just like oh all fancy and proper but she has a really punk past so to me that's actually pretty cool because you're giving a whole new spin on a character that i can actually agree with congratulations rarity i actually like you for once wow you, you know what reputation is it, is it like, am I the only one who thinks that Rarity at this point can be comparable to Pat Benatar? I was going to say Joan Jett. Yeah. I was, like, I was just imagining like her performing Heartbreaker or something. <laughs> also, also another thing. Another thing that I noticed. Uh, don't think, uh, don't think I saw a little subtle, a subtlety there, Rarity. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of wearing a little bit of Toons attire there. I, uh, I see what you're doing there. So that's so tunes considered punk now. All right, I, I got you. I got you. I got you. Show you and I are on the same page. I got it. Rarity's edgy now. Cool, cool. Man, this is just this is just one big old apoc apocalypse, isn't it? You know, the West Coast is on fire. There's hurricanes, and Rarity's punk now. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing. Anyway, yeah, you keep you keep on believing those head cannons, diet ink grows. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. At Shots least I still make fire. content. Ooh. Oh, come uh, on! Anyway, I pass it down. Shadow Colts! I will see you both I wouldn't be firing shots at Ink Rose, Zach. She's a published author. How's your fanfiction doing? <laughs> oh, oh, man. oh, man! Just saying! <laughs> Just saying, bro. Take cover, wow. ladies and gentlemen. The shots have been fired. <laughs> Anywho, that would kind of hurt. I, I, Fuck you. Have <laughs> 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 the for for gal Ink Rose. Ink Rose is a boss. No, she no she is. I'm just I'm just messing with her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's she's left. She's left us. She's gone to be a good author, which is good. Good for her. What? I'm, I mean, oh, she like, was back a few months ago. I mean, I, I know, I know. She I uploads mean. more content than I do. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have yeah, no room to talk to each other. We're gonna wake her up. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so you know the message that looks on any on everything, it's it's what inside that counts. It's a message that has been done to death for for a good reason. It's it's a good message, and I do like how this episode tries its very best to hide the fact that it's doing such a uh, what what's the word? Um, not repetitive message, but. Um, one that's been done to death in tons of other shows. Like, it tried to put its own little spin on it by trying to hide the fact, like, 
it's only when everything else fails, like every other tr- beauty technique or magic potion fails, that they realize the fact that Rarity is a boss and has enough charisma to get through with, yeah, without looking fantastic and stuff like that. So that's my positive. I like how they tried to hide it, and I think they did a good job on that. My negative, uh, I guess I'll just mosey on over here. My <laughs> negative connects to my positive, in that I love this episode to a point. And I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I think that punk rock rarity ruins this episode. Now, hear me out. I'm hear listening. Me out. Yeah, I'm listening. Hear me out. You have this beautiful setup on how rarity's looks don't matter at all. It's a personality of the helpful and charming femme fatale. And they ruin it by making her look awesome and attractive anyway. And giving her a very attention-seeking hairstyle, which really blurs the line with this moral. I think this episode would have been a million times better if Rarity, like, remained ugly, you know, but she, like, even if she got a few looks, she doesn't care, you know, even if she got a look or two, she just kind of shrugs it off because she's a boss, you know, and that's who she it, is. No, if you I know can, what? If I, I can think say I can something see about that, that yeah. uh, um, there are two things. Firstly, th- there was an important thing with Rarity in that she had to have something with photo finish, so it was kind of important that she would have somewhat of a good look, even though but, she said that she would cancel it. Secondly, um... <clears throat> She had to find, you know, something within herself in order to change her look. She says that she's going to express what's on the inside. So this is more of an alternative take towards the idea of what matters on the inside and expressing that outward. So I don't think it ruins the episode. I, I see I where you're coming does. from. Uh, I'd like to I want, to add to a to the, I want to add a point to this, but I'll wait for it going to be done. All right. I, I'd, I'd like I, to finish as well. Like, yeah, the, the ahead, stuff yeah. with... The stuff with the photo shoot is super contrived within the context of this very episode, and it doesn't really affect the moral all that much. Uh, I, I know she cares for fashion and looking pretty, but with this episode tackles some pretty serious self-conscious issues here, and that's pretty new and interesting for Rarity, and I thought it was super cool, but then they just made her pretty anyway. So, like, to all you ugly people out there, just remember, care for yourself, and uh, be a punk, apparently. Oh, okay. I I, I, I want to add to this then. Um, oh. I, I kind of see where you're going with this, Ninja. I, I think I can agree with you a little bit here. Um, I, I feel like, yeah, maybe the, maybe this entire thing was kind of pushed a little bit. Now, I can also agree with Golden Fox that like she felt the way on the inside and it extended outward. But at the same time, with Ninja's point... Um, what really could have drove this point home is Rarity didn't do anything. Maybe she put on a hat and just decided to roll with it, knowing that she couldn't change anything. And maybe she could go around the town cheering up other ponies who are not as fortunate to have beautiful manes or beautiful yeah, faces like or that. anything like that. That's, that's fucking cool. That really could have drove the point home because she would be cheering up other ponies by taking off her hat and showing the fact that, hey, my mane is a wreck and like, it, I have accepted this. It's okay, though, because you're not any less important. Like, here's the thing. I love the I love the idea, you know, you're beautiful on the inside, you know, if, if even if you feel ugly, you know, you're still a cool, if you're still a cool person, then you're a cool person. Looks don't, doesn't change that. I... I I don't like how this episode portrays it in a sense that if you're a good person, you'll somehow figure out a way to make yourself look super cool. Because, like, it doesn't change the fact that, you know, you've got looks. Like, you can stylize it, don't get me wrong. But, like, this episode makes it seem like once you realize it's what inside that matters, you'll suddenly be inspired and have a beautiful hairstyle like Rarity. No, that, that's not what happens. Not, not in real life. Like, if this is going over self-conscious issues here, of course, you know, it's what inside that matters, not the outside. Don't care what other people think, to be honest. You do you. And, you know, care about sort of situation. If, if other people say, oh, dude, fucking the guy over there, his hair is disgusting. Like, tidy that stuff up or something. Who, who, who are they? Who, who are they to you? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like this episode overextended by making her look amazing at the end of it. I feel like Bliss is totally right. I feel like it would have been much better if she was helping other people who probably didn't have the best hair or, or you know, couldn't yet, get good roses or something. But at the same time, I feel like because this is a kid's show, they were being metaphorical with the, if you believe yourself on the inside, it will vibrate on the outside and hence why the punk look. I, You're I also forgetting... 
you're also forgetting that she's rarity. <laughs> That's that, true. That, that is true. <laughs> If, if I but, may, no, I, I, I could have had no, no. I'm I'm gonna call that one out. You could have this episode completely fine if it ended with just her, you know, realizing that Rarity herself is cooler and she doesn't need to look amazing all the time. Well, I, I, okay. If I may add on to this, um, I agree with all points. Like, you know, especially with Bliss, I think that would have been a could I a cool idea. But then again, it might be pushing it on the kind of rating that the show has. I mean, sure, that I, I, I mean, I may have seen one or two instances where they did tackle on this topic, like Arthur, or even, like, hell, even Sesame Street. So I can agree with that to an extent. And I also do agree with, uh, agree with Ninja. In that way, yeah, the punk rock look does kind of, you know, okay. hinder a little bit. But if I may, I, I, I disagree with that to an extent. Like, and it's like, mind you... When her hair was still, you know, falling out because of the remover, a lot of the a lot of the town's ponies didn't give her that attention because of her looks. Like they were, like they were, like they were focusing on the looks and not the business savvy sense until they saw the business sense right before their eyes, and. <clears throat> And like that's when Rarity's when... self-conscious issues, you know? She felt like she didn't look pretty, so she was like she wasn't acting like her normal self. It was and an I interesting take. Really cool. It was an interesting take on I'll, the I'll tell you what, I'll her. tell you what. It, it, in, in the sense of compromise and moving on, I won't say that it ruined the episode, but I really do think it degraded from the moral. I can respect this. Yeah, I can, yeah. I can agree with it, too, mainly yeah. because I feel like a little bit, little bit contradicted itself, in a sense, but... Yeah, I was feeling, that. I was feeling a little bit of that, too. Yeah. Well, I guess I can feel that slightly, but you know what? I agree to disagree, sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, uh, tune went I, before me. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Here yes. comes cartoons. No, no, no he already. Switched. All right, so... Oh, okay. So, clearly, this season, um, the town's been pretty stupid. You've seen the famous <laughs> misfortune and dad's yeah. the whole, just like, Whoa, I didn't realize he was done. that funny. I've been here for years. You've known me for years. You mean to tell me... That the town has reached an incredibly new stupid point to where if Rarity does not have her hair, she is completely invisible to everybody. Rarity has been around here for ages, and because she does not have her hair, that's what makes her unique apparently, and without it she's just a nobody. That's stupid. That is really, really, really stupid and shallow for the rest of the town. Like, it was funny, it, it was funny for, like, the one time, but you can't tell me that there was at least somebody who's just like, oh, Rarity, what happened to your hair? Like, no, everybody's just like, oh, no, Rarity doesn't exist. What? Rarity? What? I don't, I don't well, know what you're uh, talking about. No, I agree uh, with that. That was, that was you, yeah. thrown out too hard. I wish they could have gone the route of, oh, Rarity, is that you? Why are you hiding under that cloak? It can't be that bad. And then they look and, they're, and they gasp. What? And what? Sorry. You still that. get the <laughs> joke. Come on, can everybody pretend that it's not that bad? But you, you still get that joke. Yeah. But you know, yeah, I don't like the fact that they were so stupid that she's literally invisible because she's under a cloak. Well, Again, I mean, the town was uh, built on the orbit confusion. Uh, okay. Yeah, honestly, like at this point, they've kind of been stupid before. I've kind of learned to accept it. It's more of a writing problem with the actual show yeah, it's, itself. Like it's, like it's, it's always not... been a thing, so it's, it's like, yeah. why even continue to... It's like, yeah, it's beating a dead horse, but you know, yeah. it's shown no <laughs> signs of slowing down for seven straight seasons, so it's why bother making that a nitpick? It's because we know this show can improve, and that it's an amazing show, and they can fix these problems if they wanted to, but they don't! Oh. We! You know, <laughs> if I could add a little add-on to the thing, I feel like this is, again, the episode overextending when it probably shouldn't. Like, the things with, like, people not noticing Rarity because she's self-conscious and shy and stuff, that's fine, I like that. But when, like, you had that one a-hole pony just cutting in line in front of her, like, damn, she's clearly there, you do- I have- Yeah, I will agree, that was- that, that. I will agree so, with that. That was like the, that was like on the levels of putting your hoof down of inconsiderate. Yeah. So uh, the I'm town, or at least the writers, are too stupid to write a consistent townspeople of jerks. Very good. Are we saying 
My okay. negative is being reserved for a specific individual, but so I'm waiting for my turn. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, uh, were you finished? Yeah. So pass it back to Game so, All right, Game Go ahead. Um, negative for this episode. Uh, you know, it, it's like I don't know why, but it, it's kind of tough for me to find one because. All right, I think I know one. No, no, wait, I don't. You know what? I, can you come back to me? <laughs> would would uh, that be okay? Uh, okay. Uh, me now? Uh, sure, if you, if you need some more time to think about it. Then I just need yeah. a little more time to think about it. All right. All right, um, then go ahead, boys. Okay, another thing. Uh, again, I mentioned this uh, yesterday. Um, I kind of wanted more Pinkie Pie in this. Because like, it feels mm. like the only reason like Pinkie Pie was here was to start the conflict. Yeah, mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I can see that. I, I thought this episode got a healthy dosage of all of them. I don't know. Yeah, well, like, it, it, it's weird because, like, yeah, we started off with uh, like, <laughs> like the way, like at least when it was set up, it felt like this was going to be like um, a, a pinky well, rare, a pinky episode. pinky pie rarity episode, which... which is a great combo, might I say? Like, oh, those characters work so well together. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, oh, okay, so. And then when we see, like, the, uh, at the end of the, the first act, where Pinkie Pie is basically filling up Sugar Cube Corner with suds, and it gets to Rarity, who's now, uh, ha- um, uh, what you call it, has her, like, has her main falling out. I was like, oh, I wonder how they're gonna solve this conflict. Like, oh, is, uh, is, uh, Pinkie Pie coming back? No, she's, like, gone until, like, the last, like, two minutes of the, of the episode. <laughs> hmm. uh, the kids were okay. I'm sure, sure, I'm sure they're fine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that's a like real negative. I would have preferred um, uh, a little bit more Pinkie Pie. But okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Anyway, uh, back to uh, me. Uh, it's me. Bliss, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, unless a uh, game lane thought, finally thought of a negative, or do you need more time? Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll let Bliss go. I, I just need probably like one more minute to think. Okay. okay. I'm so, sorry, I'm very slow. <laughs> no, no worries, no worries. So, uh, my negative, like, we've already touched on the fact that the ponies in the town were really stupid. I, I want to point out an extremely rude one, though. And that was that fan pony. That Irish pony? Mm. Or Scottish mm. pony, whatever. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I th- I'd say Irish. Okay. Addy. Um, oh, Ninja, Addy. which is You live in the UK. I What's do that? not like how he, um... He basically, so when Rarity shows up at the shop in the cloak and he doesn't recognize her, he says something that really ruffled my feathers. He said, Rarity gave me this idea. I mean, I, of course I would listen to her because she's such an exceptionally beautiful pony, unlike us normal ponies. Oh, that line. It was oh. Hang on, hang on. Lines. I just, I, are you sure it's that precisely? It was around that. I can't remember the exact. I think, the transcript. hang on. You know, yeah, let me quickly double check that because I know exactly what you mean. And I made a double check just to, oh wow, it just got content rejected. Huh. Hang on, I got, I got the, uh, I'm wrapping this up. Oh, transfer. Ninja, uh, Gamelik was asking you for that, that oh. Scottish Irish pony there. <laughs> I like, was saying that as a joke. It was leaning more Irish, potentially Welsh. Okay. Okay. Well, my joke turned into an answer. Good job, me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, asking you shall. Well, receive. okay, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I, I understand. I think the line was going for more of a joking sense, like, oh, you know, she knows this stuff because she's fashionable, and like, you know, hey, us guys. The, it, the way it was set, though, it implied that she was beautiful, so we should listen to her, but not like the rest of us that are not beautiful. That's how I, it sounded to me. I think uh, the word he used specifically was glamorous. And that implies, like, you know... Oh, I got it, I got it. It's, about um, uh, Mr. Breezy said, uh, kindness has nothing to do with it. Rarity uh, always knows how to make something look at uh, look its best, probably because she she looks good at herself. That ain't something us non-fabulous pony... Uh, un, us okay. non-fabulous folk here can understand. So, I think uh, what he's trying to say... Now, okay, I could see how, if I were to take the ladder, I would look at it from Ninja's perspective, but I, I just can't. The way that it was said... That n- us non fabulous fo- pony folk are. That's how are you? okay. It, it sounds like he's self deprecating himself. 
Yeah, yeah. self-deprecating so humor, is, my bread and butter. I mean, it's like, okay, I could take the ladder because the other pony slapped with him, but still, the, 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 it was downgrading to himself yeah. and to his other customers. Welcome and to self-deprecating humor. Beauty yeah. and fabulousness is subjective. Not everybody's going to agree on what's beautiful and what isn't. Why should you degrade yourself? I This rubs me the wrong way because I am self-conscious all the time. I'm always doubting how I look or if I'm attractive. I know I'm married and I have a very loving husband and he tells me I'm beautiful, I'm cute, he loves me for who I am, no matter what shape or weight I am. But it, it still hurts me when I hear people say that about themselves because that's what I say about myself too. And uh, it, okay. I just do, just do not like that line. And I think for a business pony that should never have been said. Uh, I'm just gonna chalk that one up to it was a joke. But I, I understand how if you interpreted it wrong, then yeah. Okay, if it's a joke, then again, I j jokes are subjective too. It wasn't funny to me. It, it, it's 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 one of those lines that it could be interpreted many different ways, and I guess how yeah. and how and how she viewed it was insensitive. Other people could view it as a joke. It's the, how one interprets it in and of itself is also subjective. But I see what Bliss is getting at. I yeah. think what I think something else that kind of confirms that well, at least for me that didn't confirm that or confirm that it was not a joke and that was it was intended the way it was said was the fact that I don't know why, but I heard more sincerity in his voice while he was saying it. But at the same time, um, there was also the other ponies in the shop that agreed with him. Like they weren't like yeah, laughing. They were laughing. Like, yeah, they, they were, were laughing. laughing with him, and that's why I feel like oh come on, Bliss, take the ladder, <laughs> laugh with you, laugh with them, but. Mm. Lissy, I, don't know. I, I don't feel like I would hear this in real life at a store, you know? Lissy, you're American. Here in <laughs> jolly old England, the jolly part is sarcastic, by the way. <laughs> like, everyone is full of self-deprecating, miserable humor, and it's the best. It, it, you know what? It makes sense that this guy is an Irish sort of horse, because that's exactly... Like, you talk to Emerald Comet for one moment, he's just like that. <laughs> It's like, oh, yes, we Irish folk, we're not known for our looks, but we're known for our ladies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, right. so. Uh, who goes next? Uh, I like I this. this is the best episode we've uh, had in a while. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. We're having yeah. a very good discussion. Is, uh, actually, actually, really, yeah. yeah, really good discussion. Um, um, I'll ask game like yeah, let's see. I mean, game Link, do yeah, you have anything? Yeah, I finally grew up uh, half a brain cell, and I finally got my answer. <laughs> All right, what is, what is your negative? Speaking of self-deprecating humor, anyway, um, my negative for this episode is I felt like it was going on a really good track with the fact that I don't know why. I, um, with the fact that it seemed like Rarity wasn't going to be in the what was the magazine called, like Vanity or whatever. Vanity, Vanity Mare. Mare. Vanity whatever. Mare. Hmm. Yeah, whatever it was called. Um, I liked that route they were going through. And then, I, I didn't mind Punk Rarity, I didn't mind that, but for me, what took a very sharp turn and kind of ruined it almost, well, not ruined it, but it really left a bad taste in my mouth, was when we find out that she did get in the Vanity Mare mag and th the, that magazine, and that, yes. that yes. threw me off really badly, because I thought the moral of this episode should was going to be, it doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter like what um, what um whatever the end result is, whether you get it or not. You're still great. You're still, do I, and I like the idea. Of what uh, British Ninja and Bliss had was like if um, if Rarity was like helping out other talent and other ponies in Ponyville. I like that idea, but at the, but like I said, I don't think Rarity should have made it into that magazine. I feel like that was kind of a cop out at the you end to sort of just like ha have this little happy ending for Rarity. The point is, I wanted Rarity to lose. I wanted her to lose, yes, but yes. so she could learn a lesson, not or, because I wish. Uh, if Elephant I may, not. if yeah, I may, it's more so too. the situation where even when you lose, you win. That's that's not a good moral to go with. That's like a participation award. Yeah, no, 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 anything, no, 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 no. Well, time out. If if anything, if they just had to have her in something, not let it be the magazine. How about the Ponyville? newspaper where she goes around helping other ponies yeah. and it's like yeah. our most generosity uh, our most generostic pony helping out the town Generous. whatever shut Hashtag up Hashtag generostic yes. shut okay, up but anyway um, I, my I, point be, but you, you know um i was gonna size this up and then photo finish just to happen to take those photos and donate them that was that was dumb i'm sorry like 
I, I know Golden mentioned earlier that she needed to look cool because she wanted to do the photo shoot, but that's not true, actually. She cancelled, like, all of the photo shoot stuff. Oh, uh, Tune, I, 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 I can figure this out. Look good and losing. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, Again, uh, I, I feel... I, I, I sort of fucked that up as a way of her... Of, I don't know, like, the re utilizing the rest of the main six to try and help. That, yeah, it, it could be interpreted that way, yes. I don't know, like, I personally saw nothing wrong with that, but then again, I'm not you, so. Mm. Well, like <laughs> I said, I don't like Rarity, so uh, whenever it seems... Like I said, this episode was on a good track, and I do think that it would have been fine if Rarity just lost and just kind of came to terms with that, but then they just had to take that really sharp right turn, and then they just kind of threw it off for me. But, uh, yeah, that's my negative, so I guess I'm passing it uh, back off to Will. Hold on a second. Oh. How have we gone this entire podcast without bringing up the fact that Zakora is back, finally? Oh, yeah, Zakora is here. I was going to save yeah. that for the next episode. Hashtag Zakora, uh, Zebra Lore. Okay, okay let's, let's make this a bonus positive. Zakora came back after, like, how long has it been? She you hasn't appeared, like, funny. since the two, three months? I can look it up on the wiki. Hang on. No, I, actually, I, I think she showed up last season. Did she? I, I hang barely on. remember. Yes. Hang on. I'm fairly uh, certain she showed up in season six. Last time that Sakura ever made an appearance, uh, let's see, uh, that was an actual appearance. Was this? Uh, uh, while while we're doing this sort of five. mid mid thing of research, uh, funny enough, uh, a few weeks ago, <laughs> to precipice this, I don't look at the episode titles ahead of time. I don't read the synopsis. I just you know try and go into the episode as blind as I can. Maybe a yeah, teaser so or something. Yeah. Same, yeah. So I put out a tweet a while ago saying, "Hey, what does Zakora get in the episodes? You know, how hard is it for my zebra gal to get some good shit? You know?" And I, I got a ton, half of which going, "Yeah, man, that's such a good idea, man. Zakora needs more episodes." And the other half was like, "Wait, wait, wait for it. Just wait for it. Hey, dude, you, there's a ton of episodes with Zakora already coming." And I'm like, "Well." This Fred is redundant. <laughs> Here I am pouring out my heart and soul, saying, "Hey, dude, I'm I'm pissed. Why isn't my zebra? It's literally next week." My <laughs> zebra, my um, zebra. I I, uh, I found the uh, last time Zakora ever had like a full appearance was in the Cutie Remark Part Two in the ah, uh, I knew it. timeline. That was the last. I, I, yeah. Wow. I knew it. She hasn't season. made a single appearance since season five. Well, season if we five, want so to be she, if we season. want to be fair, also according to the wiki, the last time she had one appearance with uh, where the character isn't focused uh, without spoken dialogue or narration. Technically, the last time we ever saw her was in Fault of Our Cu uh, Fault in Our Cutie Marks. But the last okay. time she was ever actually in a role was in uh, the Cutie Remark. Okay, yeah, yeah, that that's what I mean. She hasn't had a prominent like speaking role where she does stuff. Since yeah. season five. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah that, that's what I'm getting at. But anyway, um, on to my negative. Uh, actually, before... Actually, another thing I'm surprised nobody brought this up as another little... I wouldn't really technically count this as a positive, but just like another sort of thing that they threw out. Barry Punch finally speaks! Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah I didn't I even notice that. A canon voice for Barry Punch! The wine pony has spoken. I don't... But that also Again. transcends into my negative. The couch selling pony was an idiot. Oh, I I like how quills and sofas is still a thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When somebody has an item that they want to put on reserve, you don't give it to the pony who's going to give you more money for it. This is not an auction. That is true. Yeah, that is, that, uh, that yeah, that, major yeah, yeah. Rarity can technically. Egg. Rarity can now technically sue Quills and Sofas for doing that. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, that part really rubbed me the wrong way. As someone who work, who used to work... Okay, I never really worked in retail, but I know when you make a re reservation for a certain item, you do not immediately give it to someone else who can offer you more money. That is not a valid reason, and that pissed me the hell off! So does like, this explain well, here, maybe... Here's, well, here, well here's, the, here's the thing. It's not a car they're selling. It's a, uh, a it's a sofa. Like you, like that. They're a, they're a set price. You can negotiate the price of uh, of like a vehicle or uh, yeah, exactly. or a house house and of like their like where more people are potential buyers. But the fact that it's a specialized uh, a specialized thing that any, that any 
that I would buy specially made that like uh, for, in yeah, like in, in a retail setting. If you put it off to the side, it's put off to the side. Yes, and it's like it's like I'll give you more money for it. So I'm like, no, you don't do that. Yeah, I can yeah, imagine I this is. It. I can imagine this is what happened with like the NES classics. Just like, all right, this one's reserved. I'll pay you double for it. All right, sold. I mean, it goes up on eBay. Yes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but, you, you know, but yeah. Aside from that, aside from that thing, which really grind my gears, I. This is this episode is definitely one of my fa- new favorites this season, right next to Parental Guidance and a Royal Problem. I but but yeah, that one little tidbit just no, you do not do that. Your your store is going to be shut down very soon. I can guarantee you that. With a very angry Yelp review, yes, we know. <laughs> yeah. I think while we're talking sort of nitpicky kind of stuff, I have a a, a small thing that I'd like to bring up. Not really a negative per se, but just a. Okay. Okay, so you know how they make a big stink in this episode that hair can't be fixed with magic. Yeah. Despite yeah. the multiple times that hair has been fixed with magic. Mm-hmm. Like it, we don't even have to go, you know, look that hard. The very first episode of the show, Rarity's tail is magically returned by the elements of harmony. We've had other stuff like Rainbow Dash being able to blow dry hair and like up mains and stuff like that the rainbow uh powers that they all share give them super saiyan hair <laughs> like was that never re- just a uh, sort of hair but yeah but i'll balance that nitpick out with another tiny uh cool thing to balance out the nitpick i love the fact that um grand pair and granny smith were selling stuff together oh, that yeah. is the- oh i noticed that too and, and also <laughs> And also, Apple Bloom talking to Burnt Oak in that and, same shot. Yeah, and oh, also, no. on top of that, and on top of that, Big Mac and Sugar Bell had not yes! the end of one frame, so, uh... Oh, all the continuity. Continuity! Finally, we have continuity. Anyway. Yeah, that was I'm, adorable. Okay, you know I love every Wait. second that calls back to the best goddamn episode of the season. Oh, actually, yeah. w- one, more th- one more thing before uh, uh, Fox get to, if Fox get to his point. Uh, there was a, uh, there was a thing I saw on Twitter, like a comparison of season one backgrounds versus season seven backgrounds. Yeah, I saw Holy. that for like Sakura's hut. Holy yeah, I crap. saw that too. Like, Did, the, you noticed that too? Did Sakura's tree get an upgrade or something? No, oh, it's weird. <laughs> well, the same I thing think happened with Fluttershy's cottage. It was also a dramatic upgrade. Yeah. It, no, like, no, here's the thing. Here's something interesting about that, and it's just something that I tend to notice. While I was ill, I'm, I actually binged the first season of the show, and I it, I did notice, it's like, wow, this changed a lot. Kinda like the old style a little bit better. Just, just a smidge. smidge. Just yeah, a smidge. Yeah, I, I like the old designs. Okay. They were more round and so stuff. Like, perfect. everything looks more sharp. No, don't get Things look more sharp and precise and detailed in this new one, but everything just looks kind of ra- more round and pretty in the other one. Mm. In the old one, I should say. But yeah. Uh, who is... Uh, Fox. Nick? I believe, yeah, Fox was the last one for his Fox, your last. Go. All right. So apparently I've had the most minimal things to address, which I kind of kick myself in the teeth for, but uh, referring back to the hair... I don't like that the uh, other spots are left over. I would prefer that Rarity would do something about that, like have some kind of makeup to cover those uh, open holes. Oh, I, I see. Yeah. Like, 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 what's, like what's cut down to like to the root. Oh yeah, no, I see no, no, no. Mean. Like cover that root for the time being, because when it's sticking out like that, it looks like a giant mold on there. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Where like the move the. I the sky guess pad. that's a naked. Like, oh like yeah. A, like, oh, covering up, like covering up a bald spot. Yeah. Um, yes. I don't know. I think yeah. it actually comp- like like I, I think it more complements that punk look. Like uh, if, you, if you see people that have that like that style or have the mohawk, sometimes you can see the root uh, of where their hair used to be. Uh, so mm-hmm. it actually does work for that uh, that style where you can actually see where the hair used to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but to find a legit negative thing about this episode, that's actually kind of hard, because <laughs> a lot of people have already like mentioned them before. Well, just like, anything make some add pit on. points. Yeah, make some pit points. Add on. Yeah. Add on. Um, add on. 
Well, that's just do what thing. I do it's and just, copy. And like, I, I don't know what else there is to mention. Zakora's back. Well, we briefly got a mention of her. The hut's been upgraded visually. Um, Barry Punch finally spoke. Uh, it's nice to have little nods and continuities to both the perfect pair and uh, hard to say anything. And <laughs> moreover, you don't really have too many negatives about this episode. It was it, it was a it was a hit for you. I'm one of the few people who really, really enjoyed this episode. I didn't care about the negatives. So I guess I can just put it at that. Okay. That's yeah, actually fair that's fine. totally fine. We can work with that. Okay. Yeah, it's a grumble, grumble. We've been going on for almost a solid hour. This is pretty good. Yeah. Wow. That, I was that, not expecting yeah, that, it to do that. Yeah, that, you know what? I actually, I actually agree with Ninja. This has been a really good discussion episode so far. I'd like, yes. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's I, because I like Rarity it. is a boss. She's I like it funny. when roundtables yeah, no, I... are this long. I like I mean, it when I... we're able to actually have civil discussions and whatnot. Because as much as I like a podcast where we all put down our likes and dislikes, I do like to see conversation. I do like to see a good, uh, good topical discussion, especially concerning the episode and whatnot. Let it be clear that we are all friends here, and that yes, we agree to disagree, but that does not like put out anything personal between us. Because I've noticed one or two times in some of the comments that people are just like, "Oh, do these guys like really like each other?" God, oh, they're being so oh, cynical. Oh, can I talk about that, please? Yeah, please, no, pretty please. I got so much hate, and I love it. <laughs> 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 the people are hating on Ninja because he's being I, all cynical and ooh, shit. I, I dare question the authority of Princess Twilight not being incredibly awesome. And the amount of people that was so cross that I dare say anything about Princess Twilight. My lord. Oh yeah, no, I know that. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing. That's why I like having Ninja around here because, yes, while we all do agree, occasionally Ninja's the one that tests to raise his hand. He's just like, you know, let's look at this from a different side, and I think that's very important. He, he, he has the one to say, um, um. <laughs> uh, Ninja's you, you the sure, negative man. Sure about that? Like, yeah, I, like, I, 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 I got a similar thing on Twitter the other day. Well, no, here's the best thing about being that guy is that when that you guy. do stumble across something that said that often like i put it on twitter that i'm not a massive fan of rarity's hairstyle i was surprised the amount of went yeah right like i'm glad why is no one talking about this that kind of thing yeah well yeah you get the uh, like the episodes where you're that guy for i think last season i think it was to wear it back again where i was that guy who didn't like the finale yeah uh, then again we've all been that, that guy, guy. Yeah, yeah, point, yeah. And, and we have all yeah, been that yeah like my, my life yeah yeah, my, my thing with that is the cute is the cutie remark and uh, what was that other one? Uh, all bottled up. Yeah, I, I was the, I was that guy. Mine's, no, you, mine's yo, what about you are that for? guy because you hate Starlight and you're wrong. So <laughs> <laughs> you are very wrong, sir. Anyway, my... sit in the corner and think yeah. about your life. Anyway, we're almost well. Out. Um. There went civil discussions. I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm well, kidding. Well, well, anyway, we're almost done. Now, do we have a meme yeah. face? Yes, yeah. we do. We, yeah. So, we have a winner. Yeah, we're just face. tossing stuff around, you know? Oh, yeah. We're just, we're just messing That's around. That's not for the post-show. Yeah, yeah, the post-show. So, let me, um, really quickly, let me link uh, into you guys first. The winner of the round table. Oh, whoop. I was about to drop that in the after dark room. That's not a good thing. Whoopsie I'm going to go put it... <laughs> See? It contains wow. horse penises. Yes. <laughs> so here is the winner of this week's roundtable meme face. What would uh, you do for a Klondike bar? God. <laughs> what would you do? Oh. Now, oh. I, now, I picked this oh. one, by the way. This is Hungry Soma. So Hungry Soma's won this week. There were a lot of very <laughs> loose... We, there are a lot of lewd, questionable ones. Stop picking lewd, I, questionable pictures. I, you dirty, dirty, I would, dirty I people. Have gone for, I, 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 if I were to participate in this one, I would just say, yo, you want to be a part of my entourage? This isn't, this yeah. Is the, it. Hang never on, ever I, told I, you you look like William Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, Give me a sec, because I have... Uh, a face. I'm just trying. To I find thought reusing it. faces was for the fandom. Now, 
here's the thing. This episode has been a treasure trove of meme I faces. Know. This is the I episode with the most meme face worthy picks for me to go through, and I counted at least seven. And I'm sitting here just like, you know, maybe I get one thing lucky from an episode. This time, I have a gift. I have a feast. Where do I start? Hang on, I, hang on. I, 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 I want to at least suggest one. I'm just getting the exact picture. Well, I've already picked one, so. <laughs> and it is. Is it? Hang on. Come on. Drum roll, just drum roll. Oh dear. Uh, hey, just get the picture, my hands are hurting! <laughs> you guys will see it in a sec. There it is. Boom. It is this picture right here. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh. yes. <laughs> I am feeling a Voldemort vibe. Oh, goodness, I already have one. It's, it's beautiful. I don't know how that... I'm actually, no, I'm no, no I, I think I have a better one. one Boom, shakalaka. I, I, w I want to suggest oh that one, because that one is so much better. Oh god, I kind of agree with Ninja. Actually, you know what? No, 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 forget that. We're, we're going we're gonna to switch this up. Hang on a sec, hang hey, on a sec. I'm sure you can find a better image quality you. as well. I just took it from a riff of an episode live stream. <laughs> Thanks, YouTube, and your horrible copyright industry. Hang on a sec. And a bit, like, I'm sorry, the minute she made that face when Pinky said, Read it! I'm like... This has to be the this has to be the meme face for this episode. This has all to right, be. All right, all right, hang on a second. We talked about her going all like. Right. Eh. No, well, fine. <laughs> it, it, to be fair, it is it is a good one. Hang on, let me let me go find it. Hang on, let me go to the gallery. Let me go find it there. It's around here somewhere too. It's not that like hard it, to find. Like in the like in the start of the episode, I think. It is, yeah. Really, I thought it was towards the end. Uh. uh it is near the end, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's why I said, like, right, right near the end when Pinky says, Read it! Da 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 intermission, da 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 looking for the picture, da 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 Here, I'm just gonna put Bliss, like, tap dancing, like, on a, on a, on the table. While we're waiting for, uh, while we're waiting for Toon to get that image, let's now talk about how much of a trash Rainbow Dash is. Okay, you know what, what you really? little shit? I will fight what? you on that. Wait, what did Rainbow Dash do? Rainbow fight, Trash. Fight, fight. Oh, wait, I just thought of a new negative. Oh, <laughs> let me tell. Okay, uh, appar uh apparently, uh, Harry the Bear tried to turn Rarity into a Chia pet. <laughs> <laughs> they did! They did! Oh my god! Wow! Oh wow! Okay, there we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. So you, here, you know, it's another interesting thing. But Hold on sorry, a I, I don't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Yeah. So real quick. All right, here it is. Here's the one we're going with because apparently this one's actually funnier, and I think this one might be a little bit more creative. All right, so this. I'm going to go put this up on Twitter. In order to do this, you guys know the drill, but for those who do not, I'm going to put this up on my Twitter. You are to come up with your best and or funny subtitle for it. Put it in the picture. Reply to me on Twitter with it, with the hashtag, hashtag roundtable meme face. And a winner will be picked during the next episode. So that should take care of that. I'll be putting that up shortly on Twitter. So... The thing that I'd like to talk about before we sort of cut off to the post show, if, if we might be on the post show now, who knows, but like, this episode did something that's fairly interesting that kind of got shoved onto the rug. It mentioned the fact that it's Mare's Day, which is, you know, I think it's alluding to something <coughs> oh, like yeah. the Mother's Day thing. Oh I yeah, I actually did Day. notice that. So you might be onto something. Here's my point. You mean to tell me that after seven seasons, we finally have every mom at least established, whether they're alive or not, when we just waste a Mother's Day episode on Rarity? We have every mom! I want a mom episode. I want a mom episode where it's all of the moms and they go on their own little adventure. I want the moms and dads on a cruise beast. and it goes terrible. That would be the best episode Ever. I'd love to see that. That'd be great. Mom's it, Night it, Out or something. It, 
it, it really speaks volumes when people expect more from the main character's parents than the actual characters. Well, no, well, no, it's been seven see... seasons. They've been around for so long that we want to see other I know, I'm, I know, I'm joking. Oh, no, man, it, it, it took seven seasons for them to stop of them, which is kind of stupid when you think about it. But, you know, I... we finally have all the parents sort of addressed. The, the main six parents... And, uh, well, I guess Starlight doesn't actually have any parents. Not really. We haven't had an actual episode with Twilight. We don't know who Starlight's parents are. Uh, I wasn't talking about Starlight. I was talking about Twilight. We've only seen Twilight's parents. We know nothing about them. Well, yeah, we don't know much about a lot of people's parents, really. (laughs) Anyways. I I guess you do. Um, Rainbow Dash's parents had a We got to end the episode here. So thank you, everyone, for for tuning in to Roundtable. As always, join us next week for uh, the episode A Health of Information with Vlad. Yeah, my boy! Media Manga Vlad. Oh, yeah, we're bringing on Vlad. (laughs) His time has come. Hashtag Vladdy Daddy. (laughs) Be ready for the memes. Oh, it's going to be good. Uh, it's that's my boy. It's going Jasper, to be good. if you're watching this, skip next week. <laughs> oh, also, when Spike's parents going to be discovered? That's, da, 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 da. that's the end of the episode. Bye. Cut it right there.